So you want to be a doctor, huh? Let's kick it off with pre-med 101, the basics. College, what major do you pick? MCAT, gap years, applying, interviews, personal statements. Here, you're going to find all of that. Tune in. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to my channel. My name is Julia and currently I am a second year medical student. I'm so glad that you're joining me here and I hope that you subscribe and tune into my videos as I have a lot to share with you. I want to share with you guys my purpose for starting this channel and the many goals that I have in creating these videos. So some of those goals include one, I am a first generation college student. I am the first in my entire family to have completed college and graduated with a bachelor's degree to go on and get a master's degree and to currently be in medical school training to be a doctor. So there are many things that I had to learn along the way because there was no one before me to guide me. And I wanna pass some of that information down to those of you out there who might be on YouTube or using other resources to find their way through their education. I know that we're living in a virtual age and you can find almost anything on YouTube these days. And so why not contribute and bring a little bit of advice and tips that I've learned through my education to others that may help in some way. Secondly, there is a pre-med and medicine community and there are many of us who are at a point in the future that you maybe are hoping to get to and why would I not want to help those of you who are going through things that I've went through in my education or in my life and could possibly help you in some way. So hopefully I can be of some resource or mentorship to those of you who are either in college or pre-medicine or in their master's degree or some point in that journey that I was once at and that I can speak to and offer some bit of advice. Third, I took a very non-traditional route to medicine and med school and I want to share that journey for those of you who think that there's only one path to a destination and I want to share with you guys my journey so that you know that all things are possible even when you are at your lowest even when you do not think that they are that they are and I want to be a living representation that your goals are achievable with hard work effort mentorship resources YouTube. I want to show you guys how things worked out for me and how they can work out for you too. And lastly, I just love medicine. I love education. I love learning and teaching and talking. And I just want to get out all of the things that I want to say to you guys and to the future generation of college students and doctors and really just help you guys in any way possible. So if me making this channel and creating these videos helps at least one person, then my goal is reached. So I want you guys to tune in and comment and be interactive. And I'm going to take that feedback and provide you guys with whatever resources I can possibly offer. I am not going to try to come onto these videos and teach you guys something that I have no knowledge of or that I did not experience. I'm going to speak from my heart. I'm going to speak from experience and hopefully that provides you with insight into my journey. In this video, Pre-Med 101 The Basics, I'm going to briefly talk about some of the major components of being a pre-medical student. This includes your major, your GPA, MCAT, applying for medical school, gap years, all of these things that pre-medical students often think about. However, this video is only introductory because I will be creating individual videos for each of the components I address here today. So all of those same topics I just listed will have individual videos committed to solely talking about that topic. So stay tuned, make sure you hit that subscribe button so that you're tuned in to every single topic that we're gonna be addressing. I also want to say that no matter where you are in your education, whether you are a high school student, a college student, a professional student, a, a medical student, there could be something here that's useful for you. I also try to make things pretty relevant to all different majors or career paths. Of course, I am a medical student. These videos are more geared toward pre-medical students and those who are interested in 
going to medical school. However, a lot of what I talk about is very translatable to law school, to business school. If you are in college or in any point in your education, there could be something here for you. So leave me comments. Let me know who you are, where you are in your education, what you're looking to see so that I can make sure that any information that I could provide outside of the medical realm, if it could be useful to you, I will make sure I'm doing that. So let's jump in. Pre-medicine. Woo! One of the best career paths and majors to choose. Of course, I'm biased, but still it is. But also one of the one of the toughest and one of the most grueling. So you need to know that going in. One thing I always share with young people who especially are not in college yet that are interested in becoming a doctor or a nurse or some sort of health profession, that exposure is key. You want to make sure that medical school is right for you before you get here. There is a lot that an individual needs to do to prepare to get to medical school leading up to that point. And if you get to that point and realize that it's not for you, you could have potentially used all of those years or those college experiences to do something else that might be better suited for you. So any way in which you can get exposure early on to make sure that medicine is right for you is key. So that can look like many things. It can be shadowing doctors, and I'm going to talk about that in other videos. But even if it's your normal family doctor that you see or the person you go to to get your health care. Ask them if you can shadow them or come to see them in clinic one day for a few hours to see what it's really like to be a doctor and if that's something that you are seriously interested in. The great thing about living in this era is that you can be exposed to medicine in many different forms. So even if you don't have the opportunity to go shadow, even watching this video here, a medical student who's training, I'm going to show you what it's like to be a medical student. I'm going to share with you my experiences of going through all of the process of getting to this point. And you're going to see my journey through medical school and when I become a doctor. So you are getting exposed through different avenues if you don't have the opportunity to go shadow a doctor at this point. So if after exposure, you are still certain that this is for you and that you want to be a doctor, you want to go to medical school, then here comes college. College is the best or it could be the worst experience for some people, but college in and of itself is four or more years of growth and discovery. And it's a huge turning point in the life of a young adult. And as a future medical school applicant or a medical school student, there are really important points in college that are relevant, especially for you. So first thing, college major. Although many medical students do major in the sciences in college, it is not required. And what I would personally recommend to you is to really explore what it is that you are passionate about learning about and major in that. It is very possible to go to medical school without having been a science major. However, there is a lot of coursework and prerequisites that you need in order to get to medical school that are in the sciences. So if you do not major in the sciences, which isn't required, then you may have to take this coursework and these pre prerequisites at a later date, which is fine. So what I would really recommend to you is to explore what it is you're passionate about learning about because you're going to have to do it for four years. Another major topic for pre-med students is GPA. Ah, GPA. Grades are grades. And it's just one of those things that being real that matter. We would love to live in a world in which you could pass all your classes and be, be fine, but the way medical school works is you need to be a competitive applicant and part of being a pe competitive applicant is having a good GPA. If you aren't in the best place and don't have the greatest GPA, there are ways to bounce back from this. And I'm going to go into depth about that in another video. But as of right now, there is this major emphasis on GPA when it comes to applying for medical school. Just make sure you are performing to the best of your ability and that's all you can do. One thing that I've learned about GPA is that it falls very easy, but it's really hard to bring back up. And if you're in college or when you will be, you will realize that it's way easier to just have a good GPA and work to maintain it than to have it drop and try to work to get it back up. It's really hard. So stay on top of your grades. They matter and just try your best. So a big thing for pre-med students is their involvement in college and 
what extracurricular activities they are involved in. That could include clubs, hobbies. It could also include work experience and research. So it could look like many different things. But what I would say as far as college goes and extracurricular involvement is that time management and balance is everything. As a pre-med student, you could get really caught up in wanting to be involved in everything. And the more you do, the better it'll look. Oh, I need to pad my resume. But the reality is it is better to be involved in a few meaningful things than a bunch of things that were superficial that you cannot speak to because you just put your name on the listserv and went to the introductory meeting for food and then never showed up again. So those things you can't really speak to in an interview. When an interviewer asks you about that club that you did that for, you're not going to be able to say anything. So don't do that. Be involved in meaningful things, things that you will be able to commit to and have a meaningful impact on you and that you will be able to speak to your participation in that group. Commitment and participation in organizations you are passionate about, even if they are unrelated to medicine and health, is something that medical schools will want to see on your application. And the last major point I'm going to cover today is gap years. I will do a whole video on gap years because they are one of the most important topics that I think students are encountering these days. However, for right now, in recent years, there has been a huge rise in the number of individuals taking gap years between undergraduate college and medical school. Now, what an individual does in these gap years is completely personal and up to them, whether it be taking time off and exploring the world or going to grad school and getting a higher level degree, working or conducting research. No matter what you do, if you take time off between college and medical school. This is something that will most likely come up in your medical school interviews. There is this notion that you need to do something related to medical school during your gap years, and this is simply not true. However, what I would say is that whatever you decide to do during those gap years, make them productive. This doesn't mean literally productive as if you need to be doing something every day. It simply means that whatever it is that you do decide to do during your gap years, make sure you understand and are able to articulate the significance of that time and what it did to you and relate it back to medicine and to the time between college and medical school. For example, if you take a year off and travel the world, one could say that that's not necessarily related to becoming a doctor or your medical school application. So you need to find a way to find the significance in that time. So you could say something along the lines of, I took a year off between college and medical school. And during this time, I explored the world and met many different people of many different backgrounds and explored new cultures, learned new languages. And it was during this time in my exploration that my eyes were open to the world and I was able to see outside of the bubble that is my city or my country and see how others live globally. You could also say something like, the year that I took off between college and medical school also contributed to my maturity and growth, helped me to really enhance my communication skills, especially with people of different backgrounds. And lastly, really reinforced my desire to pursue a career in medicine because I never once wavered from my desire to attend medical school. Do you see what I mean? No matter what you do during that time, during those gap years, you just have to find the significance and be able to talk about how it related back to your experience to want to go to medical school. And you could do that no matter what you do during your gap years. Okay guys, so that was my brief summary of Pre-Med 101, The Basics. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Like I said, there is so much more to come. Please hit that subscribe button right now and leave me some comments. I really wanna see what you guys want from this channel and from me, what I can offer you and hopefully be of some resource. Stay tuned for my next few videos, really going into depth about MCAT and extracurriculars and gap years and speaking more about those things which are really relevant to pre-medical students. Be sure to like this video, leave me a comment below and subscribe. Until next time.